What's up guys? Welcome to The Smart Student, where today we're going to be designing a PowerPoint presentation formatted in APA 7th edition. However, we're going to automate and simplify this process by using ChatGPT to do so. Now, quick note, if your professor's instructions vary from anything I give you here, do follow theirs first. But with that, let's go ahead and dive into my computer, where we're going to need three things for this demonstration. First, since this is an APA PowerPoint, that means you would have performed some kind of research, usually in the form of a research paper. Next, you want to open up a blank chat GPT window. And then finally, you're going to want to download this free template I created, which essentially contains the steps that we're going to be going through, as well as the chat GPT prompts we're going to use. Also, note how I've included a template for your citation and references if you decide to use any AI generated images, which I'll show you how to do later on. But starting with step one, we're going to prepare the slide material. To do this, go ahead and copy this first prompt and we're going to paste it into chat GPT. Now, before you hit enter, you want to make sure to fill in these couple of blanks. So starting at the top, your task is to create a PowerPoint presentation about our topic for our research is search engine optimization. So I'm going to type that in. Perfect. And then continuing through the prompt, we're asking chat GPT to create the outline and slide content from the paper that I will paste below. The outline should match the section headings and the slide content should reflect the material under each heading. Include the in-text citations from the paper for each section in the outline. Make the presentation blank slides long. So for this particular presentation, we want to make it 10 slides. And with that, we're ready to send this into chat GPT. From there, it's going to prompt you to go ahead and paste your paper into chat GPT. So to make this simple, go ahead and hit control all or command all just to show you for context. This is quite a lengthy paper. I have tested this out. You can copy and paste all of it, including the references. It's not going to matter. It'll do the same thing. So copy. We're going to paste that in over here, send that over. And then now we wait. And just like that, we're good to go. So before we move on to step two, I recommend taking a second and approving the content in the slide information that ChatGPT has given you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the slide headings match the section headings in your paper, because pro tip, a good research paper, your section headings should either match or somewhat align with the objectives in your project rubric. So this is a great outline for your PowerPoint presentation as well. And for this demonstration, I've actually simplified this and just created an outline so it's easy to approve. So as you can see, slide one has our title slide. And then slide two is going to start with our actual headings. So the introduction, that's going to reflect this first section heading here. We have understanding of SEO. As we can see, that's for search engine optimization. We have keyword optimization. Great. That matches over here. Click through rate, so on and so forth. Since everything is in order there, next, we want to go through the bullet points and make sure that ChatGPT did a good job of capturing what each section is about and hopefully putting it in a logical, coherent bullet point formatting. Do take note that we have our in-text citation included in that final bullet point because that will go on our slide. And then since we have the title slide here as well, you can take note that it follows the APA formatting from our title page and our research paper. Oh, and we'll create the reference slide later on. That's something we have to do manually. But now let's go ahead and move on to step two, where we're going to expand the material in each bullet point. To do this, go ahead and open up your free template once again. And now we're going to copy and paste the second prompt, which is super simple. As you can see, it says expand on each subtopic you provided using the content from the research paper. Now, if you're wondering why we needed to expand on each bullet point, it's quite simple. If you're giving this presentation live, well, now you know exactly what to say for each slide to explain the different bullet points. And if you're not giving this presentation live, then now you have the content for the notes section in your presentation. 
Now, again, I recommend taking the minute, going through each section, approving the content, only you will know if it matches your research paper. But now let's move on to step three, where we're gonna ask ChatGPT to create the actual content that's gonna go on our PowerPoint slides. So to do this, let's go ahead and copy and paste step number three, prompt here into ChatGPT. And so while that populates, let's go ahead and read this. We're asking ChatGPT to consolidate each slide in a bullet format with summary detail. I've also included them not to include punctuation after each bullet point. After testing this out a few times, ChatGPT has a tendency to put a period after each bullet point, which isn't correct when you put it into your PowerPoint later on. Once again, we're good to go. And so now we have exactly what is gonna go on each PowerPoint slide. And so now we can move on to step four, which is where we're gonna prepare the content to export to PowerPoint. To do this, we want to open up a blank Word document because this is where we're going to format the headings and the subheadings. Once that's good to go, go ahead and copy and paste the content from ChatGPT. And from here, we're going to start by removing the slide number from each title. So very simple. Go ahead and highlight it and hit delete. Do that for all 10 slides, and then we'll move on to formatting the headings. Okay, next we're gonna alter our title slide just to make it appropriate for PowerPoint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this bullet point and I'm gonna make this my main title here. Next, I'm going to remove everything on the front side of the colon because we don't really need that in our PowerPoint. And this is important to note, if your professor gives you any other way to format your main PowerPoint, your title PowerPoint slide, go ahead and include what those instructions are. So I'm gonna leave this as is, and now we're gonna format the main headings and the subheadings. And so the easiest way to do this is go ahead and highlight your first main heading hold down control on a PC or command on a Mac, and then you're simply going to highlight all of them together so we only have to format them once. It's important to note if you're scrolling, you wanna release the control or the command key. Here we go, we're almost done. One more, okay. Now that we have all of our main headings highlighted, we're gonna come up to styles and select heading one. Now we're going to repeat that exact same process, except we're going to format these bullet points is heading two. So with everything highlighted, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to the styles drop down menu, select heading two. And then now the last thing we're going to do before we export this to PowerPoint is we're going to select all of the text and we're going to change the font color back to black. You're welcome to change the font type. However, I don't recommend doing so since this is an APA PowerPoint, you want to make sure that the font is legible and easy to read. But now what we're going to do is we're going to export this by coming up here to file, selecting export, and then you want to select the export to PowerPoint option. However, as you can see, we don't have it in our Word document. That's fine. What you're going to do is go back and then we're going to add it to our toolbar. To do this, go ahead and select this drop down menu, select more commands, and then here we're going to go to all commands. Once this list populates, you're going to find send to PowerPoint all the way down at the bottom here, select it, hit add, and then select OK. Now you will see the send to PowerPoint option up here in the top left hand corner. If for some reason your desktop app doesn't have that option at all, a workaround is to log into the Microsoft Word online application because here under file and export, the export to PowerPoint feature should be listed. But now that we're good to go, let's go ahead and use the send to PowerPoint option. As you can see, it took a matter of seconds and here we are, we have our full PowerPoint, which is almost ready for designing. 
The last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in the information from prompt number two into the notes section in our slides. So that way we have all the information together. And so this is a simple process of copying and pasting the correct information under the corresponding slides. All right, the notes are good to go in our PowerPoint. So now let's talk about designing this thing. And I'm going to show you two different ways. First, we're going to talk about how to use the designer feature within PowerPoint. And then I'm going to teach you how to generate images using an AI generator in which you can include in PowerPoint. And yes, we will have to create a citation for that, which I'll show you. But here we are starting with the designer. As you can see on the right hand side, a bunch of different designs are populated for this slide. And so this is a matter of going through, selecting what you like. As you can see, this is the introduction page. So perhaps we start with this. Now, going on to the next slide, what's great about the designer is it will kind of play off the design you chose in your previous slide. So we chose that blue looking color. Maybe we want to stick with that blue and we choose this example right here. Same thing going down the line. It's going to be a matter of you choosing the different designs that you like for each slide. Now for option two, let's talk about how to create an AI generated image and include it in your PowerPoint. So you're going to choose from one of the many AI softwares out there. We're going to use Bing image creator for this example. And we're also, we're going to use it with chat GPT because before we create the image, we're going to actually use chat GPT to create different prompts for the different slides. Let's pull up our chat GPT template once more and select the prompt under, under step number five, paste that into chat GPT here. It's asking chat GPT to suggest images for each of the slides. You want to make sure to fill in the program you're using. Again, we're using Bing image creator. There we go. Let ChatGPT do its thing. So now we have an image suggestion along with the exact prompt to put into Bing image creator. So we're going to just try the title slide out here. We're going to highlight, copy and paste into Bing and see what we get. Not bad. We've got four images to choose from. I particularly like number two. So let's go ahead and download this, save it onto our computer, and then we will include it in our PowerPoint. Now, very important to note that I'm doing this because if you simply copy and paste this image right here, the quality will not be enough to hold up in your PowerPoint. And so we're going to remove this image. And then we're going to bring in our AI gem generated image here. And now pay attention to the right hand side. The designer is already trying to incorporate this new graphic into your PowerPoint. And so this becomes a matter again of choosing which one you like. And so perhaps I like this option here. Now we just need to create the in-text citation and full reference list entry for this image. Go ahead and pull up your chat GPT prompts one more time, because down here at the bottom, I've included that information. So as you can see, I have the full reference list entry template right here. And then this is going to be the example reference for this PowerPoint. And underneath, I have what we're going to include is as the citation in the presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Coming back over to our presentation, we're going to insert a text box down here at the bottom of the image. And then from there, I'm going to paste in the text. Now this becomes a matter of resizing the text, making it fit, making it look nice. Here we go. All right, that's not my favorite citation. It's a little hard to read, but it gets the job done. So now we're going to move on to the last thing we need to do, which is create a reference list slide. And so go ahead and select new slide. We're going to title this references, bring up our paper in which we're going to copy all of our references. From here, you want to highlight all of the references, unbullet them, and then using the line spacing options, we're going to select 
hanging under special, and then make sure it's hanging by 0.5 inches. And that should do the trick. Finishing this presentation becomes a simple process of designing each slide. And also don't be afraid to change any of the content that ChatGPT generated for you. For example, I would definitely change this title slide from introduction to something like this. And by the way, if you need help creating references and citations for generative AI in your actual papers, be sure to check out this video next.